So this clip's going to come after the clip that you've just seen um, of me making tea. Uh, but that was actually filmed at my home in Bath, where I'm from, when I'm not at uni. And it was filmed like two years ago, but I just suddenly realised I really needed an intro for this video. So I was like, I'll grab the tea one from all that time ago. Um, but look, same mug. Um, now I'll finish editing. Enjoy the video. Okay, so this is part two of a little dives sequence that we've done. Um, and this time I'm just going to be doing some editing, show you how uh, I edit the photos after a dive. Let's get right into the edit. So the camera's going to change in about now. Well, first thing I'm going to do is open up Lightroom. Uh, that's the app I use for all of my editing. Uh, it's just a lot easier to use than Photoshop once you learn how to use it, um, and for basic editing especially. So first of all we'll import, we'll just go through like all the photos that have been taken from the dive. Here we are, so we've got these ones here are just setups and test ones um, from when we're setting the camera up just so I know that the camera's definitely working before I put it all together. Uh, just testing the lighting and then this is like on the day, hi Jacob. Uh, just before we go in the water, again, just to test it, and then finally get in the water. So we've got grass. We've got, see a lot of these are quite overexposed, so we'll just flick through these. Bloody Mary starfish as well. None of these looking great. Honestly, today wasn't my best day of diving. Uh, the water wasn't great. I take that one. So yeah, basically, I just flick through all of these until we've got a decent one. Um, so I'm going to do that, and I'll come back to you in a second. Yeah, we also saw a shark today for the first time, which is super cool. Um, no video, because obviously I'm concentrating on taking photos a lot of the time, but that was cool. Right, so now the photos are importing. This is just like a quick video. I might do like a more in detailed editing video of how like I pick what sort of photos are better than others, composition wise, etc, etc. Yeah, I've already like played around with a few edits, but we'll just I'll just go through like two. So say I'm editing um, this one, sea urchin. What you want to look out for on like underwater photos, you get quite a lot of backscatter if you aim the flashes in the wrong direction. So obviously this one's quite well done. We haven't got too much in here, but you might just want to remove like the main flares um, and get rid of those with this like spot removal tool. the higher you bring out those blacks the more scatter you're going to be able to see so i'm probably going to leave the blacks quite low just to minimize that uh, scatter as much as possible yeah those highlights a bit more give some contrast obviously each photographer's got their own way of editing and um, this is just my style and this, really, this is super quick right um, i could spend ages editing so, yeah, this this urchin's got some really nice colors on it so we're definitely going to want to bring those out in the vibrancy slightly just a little bit. It's all about tiny little adjustments with underwater photography because each thing colours work differently underwater, so everything changes quite drastically once you start altering settings. On those brights out, I want to keep it in detail. Um, and then you can just play with each of the colours individually, which is another reason why I love Lightroom. It just gives you a lot of like, individual settings. Um, okay. Before and after. That's maybe just slightly too contrasty. Let's go back up and we'll change that slightly. Cool, I mean, that's not perfect, but... Uh, um, we'll go with that for now. This is like also one that I've edited on this as well. Slightly, slightly darker, but yeah, it just makes it pop a bit more. I'm not entirely happy with this up here. Um, if I could go back and take it again, I would remove that definitely. It's a shark and shark's cool. It's the first UK shark I've seen. So obviously it was like fleeting uh, past. Um, my buddy Jacob got a lot better photos than I did. This is 
very average, really not very good. Um, but we'll just try and tidy it up a little bit. I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to do about all of the spots. So give me one second. Yeah, I mean, that's as good as it's going to get for now, to be honest. Um, I've also done other edits of it. <coughs> like that, that's a bit too dark, to be honest. Um, then again, this is a bit too blue. It's not a good photo, so I think all the edits are always going to be slightly meh. Um, yeah, so once I've done all that, I would select all the ones that I want. Um, I post a lot of images on uh, Instagram, so all of these folders at the side here, these all sync with an app on my phone. Um, so if I just like select the ones that I wanted, and then I can just go we dive fourth chorus. There you go into here, there, and then I don't actually have any internet right now, but uh, it would say syncing up here, and then I'll be able to get them on my phone. Yeah. That's a super quick editing tutorial on Lightroom. Um, I really need to do another one because you can go into so much more depth than that. But uh, that'll do for today. Hope you've enjoyed and I will see you for the next video. Cheers.